Okay, so in CrossFit, we spend a lot of our time on this big contraption right here. This is called your rig, all right? So doing things like pull-ups, toes to bar, bar muscle-ups, and just any number of things over here. So we want to talk about, you know, uh, a common theme that we have on the rig called kipping, all right? So Allison's going to jump up here on the bar, and we're going to do what we're calling a beat swing. So she's here, essentially just driving through her shoulders, moving forward and moving back. And all right, what this does is kind of creates a little momentum where she has a hip crease here where she can kind of pop her hips and help her do a pull up or help her do a toes to bar or bar muscle up or whatever that might be. But we're gonna kind of examine what exactly this beat swing is. So I'm gonna kind of slow her down, let her stand on the box here. We can kind of talk about this in slow motion. Uh, I might come over here if you can still see me here. All right, so is she, we have basically two positions we're looking for, is this good? Yeah. Two positions we're looking for here, all right? The first one being a nice arch position. So she's gonna kind of push her chest through and notice, I mean, obviously her feet's on the box, but normally she'd be nice, straight, and her feet kind of in behind her right here, but basically pushing the chest through. This is your arch position. This is where she will like engage the lats and kind of drive her shoulders back and go into a good hollow body. So hollow body, this is probably the most important part of the kipping position because we got this hip crease here, which is going to allow us to kind of pop the hips, so to speak, and generate the power, the upper motion, upper motion and get her chin above the bar or whatever that might be for the kipping pull-up. So I'm going to have her kind of swing back and forth a couple of times, arch, hollow body, arch, hollow body. All right. So going from there, and then if we kind of move from there into back over to the rig, we can show you how this works with the kipping pull-up. All right. So she's there going back into the arch and hollow body, and then she pops the hips and she's gonna continue to pull up with her arms. Notice that nice hip pop and pull there. All right, so that is your kipping pull up. All right, the same concept works for toes to bar. Toes to bar, exactly what it sounds like. Simply going to get into that kip swing. And as we're pushing so far back away, we're gonna bring our toes up to the bar, touching them in unison. So, so nice kip swing, pushing away, bring those toes up. The bigger her kip is, the more efficient, I guess, her toes to bar will become because she doesn't have to raise her toes so, so much. And don't get confused on toes to bar with it thinking it's all abs is really a lot of lat strength. And so we work lats in here on the daily, all right? So a lot of lat strength involved in this kipping motion. <laughs>